We think that stars that form neutron stars typically have masses between, say, 8 and 20 solar masses. More massive than somewhere around 15 to 20 solar masses, we think you start forming a black hole. A black hole is a region in space where matter is infinitely condensed. It's a singularity in space-time. They become so compact that light rays, basically, or not any form of energy can escape them because it's all bent backwards and falls back into the horizon of this object. If you're closer to the black hole than a certain distance, you will not be able to escape anymore. And this distance is called the Schwarzschild radius, and it's also referred to as the event horizon. So if you're inside the event horizon, you will never get out anymore. If the black hole is actually rotating, it has what physicists call spin, then even stranger effects occur. In particular, an effect occurs which is called frame dragging. In this effect, essentially space and time close to the black hole are actually dragged around with it as the black hole itself rotates. And as a result of this, any particle close enough to the black hole, say you or a star, um, would only be able to rotate around the black hole in the same sense as the black hole rotates. Because space is dragged so um, intensely that it is simply not possible to move in the opposite direction. It's like forcing a wind that is so strong that you can't resist it. There's no way to move forward, you can only move backward. The first black hole to be positively detected was named Cygnus X1. And the first astronomer to observe this, by definition, unobservable object was Tom Bolton. Well, you can't observe a black hole, as you point out, because nothing can escape from a black hole. What you do is to observe the surroundings of the black hole for indirect indications. If material actually falls into a black hole, it gets shredded apart and it heats up. And as it heats up, um, it starts emitting radiation. We can see evidence that matter is, is being thrown into the black hole because we see um, evidence of fast rotation around the black hole and matter getting very hot and emitting, for example, um, lines uh, from ionized iron uh, moving at, at very fast speeds. Because a black hole um, is quite massive, any material, for example stars, that move close to it will feel a lot of gravity. And as a result of this, these stars will move quite fast. In the case of the star I worked on, Cygnus X1, uh, it's in a binary star system, which was, we were, was possible to identify the visible star and then determine the orbit of the visible star about the black hole. And from that orbit, we were able to infer the mass of the black hole. To convince yourself that it's a black hole, you have to know what its size is and what the mass is, and that the matter is all contained within a sufficiently small space. In the case of uh, Cygnus X1, the mass of the uh, object, the invisible object, appears to be at least 10 solar masses, maybe as much as 15. 